everyone, it's Monomorphic here again. I wanted to give you an update on my uh, M drive build. This is version 2. Uh, major goals for this version uh, were to incorporate ideas from the previous thread, uh, make sure all components are built to scale, and add some more detail. Now the first thing that I did was I, I modeled the workbench to scale. Uh, so you can get an idea of how big this whole thing is. Uh, as far as the uh, air track is concerned, I uh, rescaled the square al aluminum tube to be uh, the, the right scale. I uh, added a valve so that I can control the uh, air pressure inside the tube. Uh, increased the side of the base, uh, the size of the uh, uh, base here, and uh, added some sorbethane. Uh, pads for vibration isolation. Um, let's see, moving to the M drive itself. With the, uh, nothing has really changed with the laser, it's still in the same place. Uh, the frustum has actually been moved to the center, and this is to mitigate any uh, thermal lifting because if you recall the frustum was over here and uh, I was afraid that uh, it would it would heat up and thermal lifting or buoyancy would would cause this side of the uh, uh, glider to raise up and and give me uh, an unwanted motion in a certain uh, towards the right uh, let's see I have also added uh, what I call the frustum seal. It is a glass tube, a little piece of glass tube that's cut uh, four and a half uh, centimeters and uh, it's to seal the frustum in to help reduce any thermal effects or uh, anything like that. Uh, okay for the first time I can show you guys I wanted to show you, I forgot to show you last time in the video but just to give an idea of what the scattered laser beam will do um, once it's inside the frustum and exits the uh, uh, the laser itself. Uh, it's going to scatter and then bounce around inside of here. Uh, let's go outside of uh, x-ray mode. I will move on down to the battery now. Uh, this, there are actually two batteries here. I'm using two 750 milliamp hour one uh, S batteries that are 3.7 volts each. Uh, these size, these are these are very very good uh, high uh, discharge batteries. Uh, the dimensions on that is are uh, the dimension on the uh, box. Dimensions on the box that I'm going to be using is 50 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 25 centimeters and that should be large enough to uh, hold the two batteries. Uh, uh, the, the two batteries together will weigh about 40 grams and I'm hoping to get about 20 minutes worth of operation at full power here. Let's see the electronics now. Uh, it's still a very simple system. Um, a, a simple switch to turn on the power, uh, which you know can be wireless, and the uh, laser driver uh, over on this side uh, feeding into the uh, laser itself. Uh, these are the uh, two uh, uh, ports for charging the individual lithium polymer batteries uh, inside the. Uh, housing here. Uh, let's see, oh if anyone knows or has any any good ideas on a, a, a glass fabricator I, what would be ideal is if I could send this uh, fabricator my uh, dimensions for my frustum and for my uh, uh, frustum seal and have those made because uh, uh, getting uh, this shape in glass, the, the frustum shape in glass is proving to be pretty difficult. I can use, like I and, and what I intend to use first, 
is is a vapor deposited aluminum but like I said before it's going to be plastic back so uh, I'm going to be very limited in how long I can run this uh, without uh, melting the whole thing but if I could make it out of glass then I should be able to get uh, longer run times uh, and or you know I'm also looking for maybe a glass saw or some way to uh, saw my own tubes and my own uh, shape so if anyone has any ideas uh, about that please let me know so uh, that's where I'm at guys uh, uh, let me know what you think